disassembly of FC automation drive C enclosure. By the end of this module, you will get a basic understanding on disassembly of FC automation drive C enclosure. Before starting this module, let me give you a quick warning. Frequency converters contain dangerous voltages when connected to the line voltage. During dismantling, in order to protect yourself from these dangerous voltage, you should remove the power to the drive and wait for about 15 minutes to let the drive capacitors fully discharge. Before disassembling anything, disconnect mains and motor cable. Only a competent Danfoss technician should carry out the service. Warning! Many electronic equipments are sensitive to static electricity. Voltages are so low that they can affect the performance or completely destroy the sensitive components. So before dismantling the components of FC automation drive, use a ESD equipment on the hand wrist to prevent possible damage from occurring. Now, let's see the disassembly of C enclosure FC automation drive. The disassembly of the drive starts with removal of the following parts. Front cover. Control card unit. Power card unit. Current sensor unit. IGBT module. RFI unit. Inrush PCB. Rectifier module. Fan assembly. Capacitor banks. First part of the drive to be removed is the control card unit. In order to remove the control card unit, the front cover has to be removed. Remove the front cover of the drive by unscrewing the 8 Turx screws as indicated. After removing the front cover, the next step is to disassemble the control card unit. Let me list out to you the instructions that you need to follow to disassemble the control card unit. First you have to unscrew the four screws holding the control card unit as indicated. Next, unplug the ribbon cables from the power card. Now remove the control card unit. Now you have done with the disassembly of the control card unit. The next step is the removal of the power card unit. To remove the power card unit, you need to remove the power card shield plate. Remove the power card shield plate by unscrewing the three screws as indicated. Now you have removed the power card shield plate. Let me list out to you the instructions that you need to follow to disassemble the power card unit. Start of by disconnecting the cable from the connector MK900. Followed by disconnecting the cables from the connectors MK101, MK102. MK601, MK800, MK804, MK805, MK806. In case of C2, disconnect the cables MK801 and MK807. Then disconnect the cables from the connectors. MK1300, MK1400, MK1500, MK501. Followed by unscrewing the three screws of the power card as indicated.
Now release the power card, from the 5 clips, holding the power card, as indicated. Finally drag the power card, in the direction, as shown. You have done with, the disassembly of the power card. Now unscrew the 4 screws, of the mounting plate, as indicated. Lift the mounting plate, from the assembly. The next step, in the disassembly of, FC Automation Drive, C Enclosure, after the removal of, the power card unit, is the removal of, the current sensor. In order to disassemble, the current sensor, I shall list out to you, the instructions, that you have to follow. First, you have to loosen the screws, of the input line cables L1, L2, L3, as indicated, using the Allen keys, and remove the input line cables. Next, you have to loosen, the screws of the motor cables, U, V, W, as indicated, using the Allen keys, and remove the motor terminal cables. Then loosen the screws, of the DC plus and minus bus cables, as indicated using the Allen keys, and remove the DC bus cables. Next, loosen the screws, of the brake cables, as indicated using the Allen keys, and remove the brake cables.